Hi, Mark Reedy here. Just want to give you a quick demo of Tatums to give you an idea of what's included with the software. Okay, let's take a look here. First we have the reminders pop-up screen. This shows you uh, reminders for various parts of the program, including inspections, loop services, which are your PMs, taxes and registrations, permits and inspections, parts inventory, driver reminders, uh, pending work orders or repairs needed reminders. Um, you can set this reminder to pop up every so many hours during the day. It also asks you, it'll ask you each time uh, every so often do you want to check for reminders. Plus when you first start the program, it'll ask you if you want to check for reminders. If you say yes, then this reminders pop-up screen will show up. Over here you can also see how soon to be notified. Uh, for, so if something is based upon odometer notification, uh, like so for example, something is supposed to be done every 5,000 miles, well here, uh, the way it's set right now uh, from us, is a thousand miles before it's due, if it's based upon mileage or kilometers, uh, then it's going to start showing up in the reminders pop-up screen. It depends on how fast your fleet moves, how many miles you put on your fleet, so you could ch change this to 100 miles or up to 10,000 miles depending on how far in advance you want to be notified. Same thing with hours notification if it's based upon an hours meter reading or days notification if you want if so many days go by between uh, whatever the service or reminder needs to pop up. And so that's the reminders pop-up screen. And then we'll take a quick look at reports and under reports we have the all equipment reports. This is all equipments for your entire fleet. You have an all equipment summary and this kind of shows you Informa basic information about each piece of equipment in a linear format and then you've got uh, other various types of reports for all equipment. You can show all the filters, uh, various lists, uh, all equipment due in the next 30 days, um, cur uh, current driver list like who, which driver is on which equipment and so forth. And then also under the current equipment reports, these are just quick reports uh, so when you have a piece of equipment selected down here, um, the current equipment reports show you information uh, regarding that particular piece of equipment. So if you want to see the equipment maintenance and safety report, this is like your inspections. It shows you a full year of inspections of when they were done, the mileage uh, that they were done at, and what was okay or defective on those items, and so forth. And then who, who actually did the inspection. And if we go over here to more reports, here you can see we have different types of reports uh, based upon different parts of the program. So you have your fuel log, loop service, work orders, parts inventory, and uh, inspections, needed maintenance and repairs, repairs completed reports. And then each of these, each of these reports give you a little more um, criteria that you can choose from, like you can put certain date from and to um, or specific equipment you want to do reports for so that you can narrow down the report to specific ranges. So there's a lot of those types of reports underneath reports and more reports. And on the main screen here we see the, there's the equipment summary screen. This is the main screen that pops up when you first open Tatums. And this gives you a basic overview of the, uh, of the piece of equipment you're looking at. A uh, real quick and easy way to just see what's going on with the equipment. And then we've got your, this is normally a 390 day inspection that comes from us. This particular database is set for 365 days. And these are your DOT type inspections. And if we go ahead and um, double click on this, you'll see uh, the all the items, the inspection items, whether they're marked as okay or defective, and the date it was done, the mileage it was done at and you can print out these inspections uh, after they're done and you can also put notes on here. Um, you can print out these inspections after they're done or before they're done, prior to anything being done, you can hand off the sheet to uh, the inspector uh, or mechanic so that they can uh, do the inspection and hand it back to somebody else to do data entry if they want to or just bring it back into the shop where the computer is and do the data entry. And to add a new, in a new inspection, you would just click on the add inspection button down at the bottom there. And then we go over here to loop service, and this is where you would do your like your preventative maintenance items, your oil changes, and that sort of thing. And you can set these up to be at whatever interval 
are you can create your own loop service types they can be whatever intervals based upon either mileage kilometers or hours or days and uh, then you can whenever you do a loop service on a piece of equipment you would just add it to the bottom of the list choose the type of loop service it is put the date it was done at the odometer reading it was done at and who did it and you can either select from your personnel file of who did it or you can just type in here if it was done by an outside source need to make some repairs repairs completed and parts for this equipment those three tabs will be used sometimes in lieu of work orders would more normally would be used in, in lieu of work orders, I should say. So the need of maintenance repair is just a quick and dirty way to keep track of uh, what, what needs to be done on a piece of equipment. You can have to log up 200 characters in here, when it needs to be completed by, and then when it's done, you can type, type in the date it was done at, and if you click here, this little checkbox, it'll click over to the repairs tab automatically for you. So if I just type that in, put today's date, and then click this, go over to repairs completed you can see that it's over here now in this tab this tab is just a quick and dirty way to, to keep track of the repairs completed and uh, this is up to 200 characters um, you don't really get to put in labor and parts associated with this particular repair so like I said it's just a, a, a simple quick way to, way to keep track of your repairs and the cost and um, parts for this equipment this can be either every single part ever installed in the equipment if you want to, or it can just be, a, if you're using work orders, it could just be a list of commonly used parts so you don't have to go looking up the part number uh, on a frequent basis um, so that, uh, for frequently used parts. And then we'll go over here to the work orders tab. And under work orders, uh, we click here to add a new work order. And in the work orders tab, we have the description. You can have multiple short descriptions, as many as you want, plus uh, up to 65,000 characters in the detailed description. And in the labor completed area, you can add an unlimited number of labor items, how many hours each labor item took, whether it was an in-house employee or, an outside, or the outside vendor that did it, and then a description of the labor. And uh, once you add the labor, then it gets added to the work order. And then over here for parts or material used, you would click here to add your parts. And you can choose this from the parts inventory and you can have this deduct from parts inventory automatically or you can have it so that it deducts when you click the checkbox or you can have that checkbox so that it's always checked uh, by using the preferences under, underneath tools. And so that's basically your parts and, uh, parts and material used. You can also have miscellaneous costs added to a work order and then if you had a miscellaneous cost, you might put what, whatever the miscellaneous item was over in the detailed description. And so that's it for uh, work orders. And you can see what one of them looks like when it's filled in here. If I were to open that up, you can see that information. And there we go there. Okay, so over to the uh, fuel log. The fuel log allows you to find out uh, or keep track of all your fuel costs and your miles per gallon and your um, cost per mile uh, based upon fuel. And then over here you can choose your uh, criteria of what you want to look at in this list up, up above and then it gives you the totals for that list that you're looking at. So we're looking at, it defaults to one month, it goes from today's date back one month when you first open the program, but you can set that to a different criteria. And then when you move to other equipment, it'll be the same. And then over here, uh, this is your overall totals for the uh, all the life of the equipment that you've been putting your fuel information into Tatums. And you have your overall total cost for fuel, your overall uh, cost per mile or your miles per gallon. And if we take a look over here to the filters tab, in the filters tab, it basically gives you a list of the filters that are used on this equipment so that you have your part numbers for those filters and you can print those filters out so that you can carry it around with you if you want to. And over here at tires and wheels, this is a list of your tires and wheels uh, used, where they're installed, when they're installed on the equipment. And on this tab here is the inspections and permits. 
we have a, a, a hard-coded list of inspections and permits and you can put down when the last one was done, what the interval is, and so it automatically puts the next time it's due based upon the last time it was done in the interval and this will show up in the reminder screen. And uh, over here on notes, uh, you can just do free form notes to add in whatever notes that you might want to add on the uh, equipment or any kind of details that may not have been included somewhere else. And back over to the equipment summary screen, there's also the registration and taxes. Keeps track of uh, when registrations are due and uh, how much your license fees are. Same thing with insurance. Uh, you can keep track of insurance renewals and costs and your other financial information uh, about the vehicle. And the coolant testing basically just gives you information on your last coolant testing information. Same thing with oil analysis, and you have some other miscellaneous details about the equipment that can be printed out on the unit information report. Some uh, uh, state agencies want to see that information on the uh, printout for the, on the unit information report. Real quickly, the unit information report, if you go here to reports, current equipment reports, unit information report, and you'll see that information here on the unit information report. And it'll also show up the picture of the of the vehicle if you've got a picture attached. You can add a picture of the equipment right here. You just click on there to find it on your hard drive, and just you've got to follow the criteria here as far as the size and the type of uh, file that it is that you can attach. And uh, over here, you can check your under tools. There's the networking tool, so you can link up uh, Tatums to uh, the data file. Put the data file on a server or on one of your computers in the network and have other computers link up to it so you can all access it simultaneously. And preferences, uh, you can choose different preferences like uh, always update the current odometer uh, from other tabs. Uh, billing terms, you can put this at the bottom of your work orders if you want to paste in from, some information. We have a sample of uh, billing terms that you can look at, uh, that you can copy and paste that we supply you with and that uh, also includes an area for a signature, that sort of thing. And then uh, under work orders uh, and invoices, uh, you can choose to always print uh, a work order as an invoice or to ask you if, it'll, if you want it to print it as, in, as an invoice. And uh, information on parts, notes, and to hide certain information um, on your work order printouts. And we also have a, a personnel uh, screen and on that screen it basically shows you each of your drivers or fleet technicians or other personnel and driver's license numbers, last physical, next physical, what the renewal date is on the driver's license so that that will show up on the reminders pop-up screen. And uh, we also have um, the drop-down list maintenance. So. If you make a mistake or when you add something to a drop-down list, uh, you can edit them from here. For example, if you look at the loop service types, you can see here we have one called 10,000 mile. And say if you had actually put a, accidentally put a thousand for the interval, then you could go in here and change that, or you could rename it to whatever you want to. And we have a, an item, item called Simplify Tatum. So you, if you want to remove some of these tabs. Like say you don't want the wheels and or the filters. We, we uncheck those two items, click close, and those disappear. So you could, un you could uncheck basically everything except for the equipment summary tab. We'll just leave notes. And now you can see equipment summary and notes. Those are the only two tabs. So that allows you to simplify Tatums. Uh, maybe certain users don't need to see every single tab. And you can just make it easier for those users to uh, navigate the program. And you can also edit the tab names if you want to. And last but not least, uh, you, can, you can add edit your customer information here if you have uh, outside customers that you service or if you have a company that is split into different entities, you could assign each piece of equipment to a different customer in that way. So I hope this has been helpful for you and thanks for watching. Take care.